This is a short video showing how to use the latest features of PowerCLI 5.8 to deploy Log Insights 2 using the get OVF configuration commandlet and passing that to the import vout commandlet. Let's first of all log into our virtual infrastructure. Now we can actually load the OVF file into a variable and we can do a get OVF configuration on that variable. You can see we've stored the information in OVF config. So let's have a look inside of the OVF config variable. You can see here the areas that we need to configure for this variable and for the OVF to be deployed. So let's take a look through these. We have the deployment option and in here you'll see it shows us the areas that we need to fill out. So we'll need to fill the value out and these are the kind of things that we can fill out using this setting. So the default option is small, but we can actually specify extra small, small, medium and large. And if we take a look at something else in the OVF config, let's take a look at the IP and the host name. You can see we can define those right here under this setting. So now we've seen how we can display the options, let's take a look at how we might do this. We can obviously work out dynamically which host and which storage and which network to put this OVF file on. And then we can actually go through and fill out the OVF options as I've just shown you through the console. And then finally, once we've got our variable, we can pass it to the import vapp commandlet and we can specify the configuration and then we can deploy the virtual machine to our host.